never fought together before. The Romans had a paid professional army. They could train them. They could train them to use their weapons. They could train them to raise their fitness levels. But most of all, they trained them to obey orders. This is a huge advantage in the bloody business of ancient warfare. Now, the centurion has formed his troops into a battle line. The standards go behind the battle line so they're protected. As you can see, we're a little bit short of Celts today, which is where all you lovely people come in. You can be the Celtic army facing the might of Rome. Now, you as the Celts, you have grown up in a warrior society. Heroism is highly prized. The great stories are told over the campfire. But you do not have the same idea as, of war as the Romans. War is for personal glory, to settle feuds. It's not an industrial process. This is a new way of fighting. Now the soldiers have lain down their peeler. Normally they wouldn't do that, they'd throw them at you, but it creates a terrible mess. But the swords have been drawn. This is your first sight of how the Romans fight. Shoulder to shoulder, the shield wall. Look how well protected they are behind the huge scooter. How do you fight this? All you've got is a helmet and a pair of legs. You can't bend down, it'd make you too vulnerable. And in the middle, razor sharp swords waiting to stab into your unarmored stomach. Lots of people ask why the Romans had their sword on the right hand side. This shows you why. To draw your sword from the left would mean you had to pull your shield out of the way. It would make you vulnerable. On the right you can flick it out and the sword stays, the shield stays in the same place. Equally, that's why they didn't armour their legs. It would have slowed them down too much and in a shield wall it's very difficult to attack a man's legs. Now, again, you as the Celts, you've had your first taste of fighting the Romans. It didn't go so well, you've been pushed off the field we of battle. We do this as a hobby, but we do research all the equipment very carefully. We make the bulk of the equipment ourselves, and what you see in front of you is the best impression of the Roman army you're going to see anywhere in the world. Not yet, not yet, you're not yet. <laughs> what the centurion is going to do is he'll call the men down and we will salute the emperor but as we're doing that we'll be saying thank you for you turning out because you're the reason we do this give you some idea of what the Roman army looked like and sounded like and we do appreciate it on these rough weekends but people do still come out to see us As we bring the display to an end, the men are now going to salute the standards. We should then march back into the forecourt in the buildings. Be only too willing to talk to you in there. Come and have a look at the artefacts in the building we have over there. Medical instruments, the food of the diet of the Roman soldier, all the uh, tools that they would require on the march and in their forts. And ladies in particular, grab yourself a Roman soldier and examine his armour and equipment. <laughs> Oh, 
crowd of soldiers and spread panic. The soldiers drum their swords on their shields trying to intimidate you further. All the while, imagine archers taking pot shots at you, missiles raining down on you. Very few of you have got armour, few have got shields. All you've got is a sword. You haven't been trained, you've been taken from the from your home, and then the Romans charge! And if it wasn't for that green tape barrier, you'd all be dead. <laughs> Soldiers reform their line water. All you can do is throw down stones and spears, but it'll just bounce off. Imagine the level of fear that would be you would feel as this approached you, seemingly invulnerable. The soldiers having crowbars ready to break down your gates and storm your citadel. The men chant to keep pace, to keep step. All the time the auxilia protect the flanks, stopping you rushing out to try and surprise them. It's no mean feat, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a round of applause.